Underneath it all, who are we sexually? Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos, with Giselle St. James. For mature audiences only. Watch Bible, Cufflinks, and Stilettos on Carib Vision, midnight on Mondays, and Friday nights at 11 p.m. Sponsored by Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. Thank you for joining us for the continuation of this episode. Please enjoy the program and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And it's going to be a while, so how much men did sign up for that? So mm -hmm. some of them know the relationship, they know that because mm -hmm. I gotta wait until she go through all of that process, all of that, you know, because she don't know who she is as a woman. Exactly. She don't know who she is. That's so all true. these factors are in place where women are concerned, and a lot of men don't understand the dynamics of what women go through as little girls. Mm. Oh Lots yes. Of countries that don't. Yeah. If you remember. Uh, Jesus had to always take up for the women. Cause they always dumb mm. down. Yeah. You know, so if you're constantly dumb yeah. down in society, then they, they think that you, when you get, you're supposed to just, the whole thing is you was to grow up, get married and have kids. That That's basically it. That's the whole thing. Nobody think about it that's all as a person, mm -mm. as a person, mm -mm. As be it. You know, that you got to be a part of this process as well. So you're lying down yeah. as a board. You got Afri Africans, with they take out the, uh, the the what they call that? Take the out clitoris. The yes, yeah. they have a word for it. You, mutilization, mm -hmm. something to that effect. And yeah. you lie down on like a board. And they talk about that's honor. How is that honor when you take out something that to that's make supposed her to bring pleasure? Yes, yes. exactly. Yes. Oh, you know, that's so, a good point. Look at Kelly. Yes. Kelly says, yes. could it be that there is so much focus on pleasing men or getting the man that the woman neglects self-knowledge and self-care? Well, yeah. That's a good point. That's a that's very a good point. good point. And she's absolutely right with that. Oh, yes. Absolutely right. Because that's sex all, that's seems to be, for a lot of persons, sex seems to be misogynistic. It's just yes. there for the man. Yeah, you know it. what I'm saying? That's exactly, that's exactly it. The man must get pleased. And yeah. it has been such Not a male-dominated thing for so yes, it is. long yeah. that you me. find that... Listen to me. I tell somebody the other day that it's not men alone get the so-called blue balls. Women yeah. get blue clitters. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> when yes. she is okay. very yes. turned on, and there yeah. is no way of satisfying it. Trust me, you know, the vagina, it thumps to the point of pain. Yes. yes, it does. The only problem is because we don't have something that gets erect that shows that we are in need of sex. That's it. That's the only thing. You know, that's the difference. That's you know? Yeah. We don't have something that stands erect. And it is something that is visible that shows that, listen, women, the woman wants some sex. No, we don't have that. We have yeah. to communicate or do something to show that we want sex. When the man, him get hard and it's already, you already know, say, yeah, man, he yes. wants some sex. And it's one, bam, thank you, ma'am. Come on. Yeah. So you already get all your stuff on and I'm still lying there waiting. I'm like, okay. I'm like, what is going to happen for me? Exactly. <laughs> So if we are creating a healthy yes. Yes. sexual environment, yes. it has to be one where both parties are willing to give each other pleasure. That's right. And that's where we got to be. That's the key. And that's where we keep talking about communication. Oh, yes. Communication. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Kelly says, I think it also affects our energy, our feelings. It can make a woman feel almost a bit depressed. Yes. Of course. Of course. Of course. Most definitely. Absolutely. Of Absolutely. Course. Yeah. yeah. 
So can you imagine you're in a relationship and he's the only one getting pleasure and you're there like that's not fun. Okay. Me a board? I'm a board. It if that was the case, why never get why never get a board and a line on the board? Joe, don't it. So it affects my energy if I cannot get the pleasure that I need, and it does make me depressed. Just like if a man not getting a sex in a relationship in a marriage, he gets very depressed and agitated, and them something there. The woman gets depressed and agitated as well. So if we are not willing to please each other ladies and gentlemen in our relationship you're going to find that we formulate some unhealthy thoughts yes that may lead into unhealthy practices yes entrepreneur allow says wow interesting i hadn't thought about how it affects the woman in that way to be honest i just assume one i perform well she's good no well that's why we have these shows oh yeah mindset Trust me, I understand. you could be performing well to your that's standards right. and mm-hmm. you still miss the mark. Yes, that's right. You still miss the mark. Yeah. We we'll probably need to do one show. So yes. when we talk about when she said right there, it means that whatever you do, sir, continue. Yes. A lot yes. of men, when them hear yes right there, them start to some whole of foolishness, like them get nervous. Yes. yes. They get nervous and them lose the rhythm and them nobody hit it the same way them are hitting. And no, you find so. say, as much as she was enjoying herself before, she missed the climax point because what? Well, you switch up. Yeah, but sometimes when they switch up, there's something else going on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Understand. That's true. That's Think about true. it. Like, That's do you see your husband's true. rhythm in a certain way? All of a sudden, don't just switch up. You wonder what he's doing. Trust me. Trust and you me. Oh, oh, oh. Think about it now. Listen, listen, okay, listen. Now. Satin Brownie asks, how do men become more aware of how the woman is being affected? Talk. You know, yeah, that's it. Oh, you know, talk. Ask our questions. Ask questions. How are you feeling today, man? darling? What can I How do? How is for it you? today? Yes, How was that for you? Yes. Talk about it, man. Yes. Yeah. And then another thing is that, you know, sometimes women may feel like when she's asked questions, she shouldn't be open and honest because it might be that it's an indictment on the man's performance. But, sweetheart, if you Honestly, want to start it's having good. good sex, you better be honest. Be honest. Yeah. Mm hmm. Be so, uh, honest. Gold inspired Jamaica found this. So, hmm, unusual. I've been edu- I am being educated. Very insightful conversation. Thank well, you so much. Gold go inspired and welcome, welcome, yes, welcome. Yes. And, and you know, another thing came to my mind, Lady G. Uh, when they when you're having sexual intercourse, actually, I want to say sexual intercourse, making love. Mm. I was talking about making love. Yes. Find this G spot. Yeah. <laughs> The G spot. Do any women know what their husband's G spot is? I don't. I don't even you think. Find yeah. it. Once you find yeah. that G spot, you touch that G spot. That turns everything open. Listen, get to his erogenous zone. Okay, that's right. Find that's right. that zone. Mm-hmm. Find that zone. Yeah. It's not necessarily a G spot, <laughs> but there is an actual G spot. Let yeah, me tell G-spot. you, there's a spot inside yes. um the anus of the male. Yeah. That um his prostate that when you touch it, it gives him an erection. And if you continue to toy with it to stimulate it, it will actually cause the man to ejaculate. Well, some t- sometimes it's, it's a nipple yeah. too. Uh huh. Oh yeah. So it, when we talk about erogenous zones, it's different from that so-called G spot or yes. that spot that yes. I was talking about with the, the prostate. Mm-hmm. It's different. Yes. Your erogenous zone could be your ear, your nipples. That's it right. Could be your your balls. That yes, scrotum. Right. It could be That's that. Right. It, it could That's be right. those areas. But yes. in terms of a certain. Spot inside the male, 
that prostate once it is stimulated yeah, get causes an erection and that's it right. causes ejaculation Ar arousal that's right Ar that's just right. in case persons didn't know that that's that right. actually is there in the male yeah and some sometimes persons wonder how men can be pleasured from anal sex that is why that is, is why so in terms of how does a woman reach it First of all, communication. Because if your That's man right. does not want that to happen, it. you can't do that. I yeah. remember yeah. <laughs> when I found out about this, you know, stimulating the prostate, I was so obsessed with my husband's dear rear end. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Lots of the times I would try to touch him and he, because he knew what I was doing, he always hit my hand away and he said, my girl, stop it behave yourself yeah, and one you time on. i was you know performing oral sex and i was inching my way down and listen to me me say him put up him and so him said so him said girl don't and i was like okay i'm done i'm done I'm try to contain himself I'm try to contain <laughs> him. he was like Listen, I don't play about it. I don't play about my, my, my bottom. So you have to have a conversation, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, because if he does not swing that way, if that's not something that he wants to explore, you cannot force him to explore it, okay? Communication, communication. You communication. cannot force him to explore it. So communication yeah. is important. Jeez. Listen to me. Another thing is that there are men out there who are willing to explore that and because they're in a relationship that is so healthy that they're open and they can express those things those desires to their their wives and such it's a good place to start when you have that kind of open relationship that yeah. listen honey this is something that i want to try let's see if we can do it da 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 you now, as the receiver of that information, you have to be so sensitive to what he's sharing to you. So as the wife, if it is something that, you, even if it's something I you know, agree with it, you know, you can't say, oh, what that? you cannot say that. Because you know what's that, what that's going to do? That is going to cause him to retreat into his shell. That's right. So when we talk about communication, it's going to be open. It's going to be honest and candid, ladies and gentlemen. Share your desires. So the only way you worship Connect, you're going to get there, is if he is willing to try something like that. That's if he's right. not willing, you cannot force it. Vice versa. And vice versa. That's right. Vice versa. You can't force anything that yep. they don't want to do and as long as it is not something that is harming mm -hmm. you harming the relationship that's fine right i want to be in a relationship where my husband can be open to share something like that with me Mm -hmm. I, I want to have that kind of openness in my relationship where if that's something that he wants to explore, if he wants me to touch him certain places that no one else has ever touched, I want to have that relationship where I can allow him to do that with me because that's the best place to do certain things with me. That's right. With me. That's a healthy sexual relationship where we feel right. comfortable talking about our desires, sharing those desires, and doing yep. those desires. That's that right. is a healthy sexual relationship. Now, when we talk about, you know, having that positive, romantic, and sexual relationship, these things stem from a strong emotional and physical attraction with each other that That's includes right. Like acceptance of flaws. You see, because sexual sex, the, the the whole act of making love is so vulnerable. When you embrace and accept each other's flaws, lady faith, that promotes such a deeper level of intimacy and that strong emotional con connection. In a That's right. When you love and appreciate each other's bodies, listen to me. As I said, you know, I said it. I think it was my first show and i said that 
my my bottom is not very full it might be big but it don't fall and listen to me my husband used to love to talk about him 75 percent it always calls my call my bottom at 75 percent and he used to love me 75 <laughs> percent you hear me listen to me it's him make me love all my look i well, remember a, a relative who told me that, a yes. relative told me that listen to me you don't see that you're getting too fat me said look here my husband love it you know What's wrong with him? Love the role, then. Him love me. I will save him life. Him love me big breasts, then. Him love it. That's right. He said, Look at you. You are making my weight bother you and my husband. He I worried about every inch and roll. Look at you. That's right, honey. Need a little meat, a little something to touch. Look here. <laughs> Him love a little cushion for the pushing. Hey, hey. I don't know why the lot of these men go after these little skinny women. I don't know what it is. What them can, oh God, God, it's what them can manage. Know. It's what, what them can manage. It's what them mm -hmm. can manage. They can't no fun. <laughs> it's what them can manage. It's, it's the weight for them can lift. Yeah, I must say so. It's the I'm machine where them can it. operate. Hello? And takes a cow, a, a woman that's a machine a can meter operate. Them. Not gonna look good in public on their arms, whatever. <laughs> you could you could be small, minimum, large, honey. The way you could carry yourself, dress yourself really the nice. Way you carry yourself. yourself. Oh my goodness. Oh, I could throw on some clothes and make myself. Listen, mm. My husband made, made me feel like a goddess. He made me feel like so there it is. Sexy. But he made you feel special because you also feel good about yourself and exactly. enhanced because of that. Yes. Exactly. So the flaw of my 75% of us, it matter. was like a big thing to him. That's right. And if he reduced it, he know, wasn't going to like it either. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go, honey, honey oh, what no. happened? Honey, honey, what happened to you? Are you okay? I'm <laughs> goodly things. So I'm sick. I rush from God hospital. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know? You know? So you got to accept each other's flaws. Yes. Yes, Let the does. person feel good. Listen to me, lady, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, if your man have one small penis, you love him, you know? Uh, him got gay, you know? That's it. Uh, him got gay. Make him feel good about the small penis. Of course. As I said, this one is a small, medium, large, indifferent. Make no difference. Talk the law for it because somebody else wishing that they had it. And, wishing and that they is, had it. Nowadays, man, I chop off their penis to be like woman. So Master what God. What, what, what are you, what are you asking appreciate about? It. Appreciate it. Appreciate him. Man. Accept yeah. him for who he is and big him up and make him feel like a like king. Sure. I, and I, bet, I guarantee you make him, him big feel so big. Now we're about the smallest. I uh, feel like he's so bigger than mine. You know, Look about here, man. <laughs> him try everything for please you because of, of all you make him feel girl, all you make him feel is so important. Yes. Caressing ego, man. Caressing. Well, and listen you know, to me, yes. gentlemen. If you want to get anything out of your woman, just make she feel good. Love on her body. Yes, man. Make she feel good. Yes. Give her some surprise. Come in from work, man. Give her, give her a piece of chocolate. Oh, that's oh come on, sensitive. man. Okay, throw some roses on the ground. She feel Something. good, man. You know, the people understand the little things you do. Yes. Makes relationships. Yes. Yes. He's pretty much want to be. You know, my husband, he's always thinking about, he know I like a favorite chocolate, and he brings it home to me every day. Yeah. Of course, yeah. it makes you it feel on so my special. Yes, put it on my pillow with a little note. I love you, honey. Oh yes, man. Yes, man. You, you know what came to my mind, Lady J? Remember that song from Teddy Pendergrass? Turn off the, light. the lights <laughs> and light a candle. candle. Yes, <laughs> because the copy. Yes, but I'm trying to this find is. the lyrics. Listen, you see them kind of things there? <laughs> that kind of open your relationship to some goodness like yes, that. Man. You're supposed to be doing those things. Um, that's right. Another song with a one name, You Never Find. <laughs> Another love like mine. 
You've been searching and searching <laughs> the whole night through. through. <laughs> yes, man. Before. Put on some music. Yeah, man. Be spontaneous. Yes, man. Be spontaneous. Where your chat boat? Brian McKnight. Turn on some of the And just, oh, I don't make it like me, love it. Listen, if you're not even want to play oh, them there, you no can sing, sing for her, sing for him. Listen, I remember Lady Faith. I don't know. It just has, it was just a day. It was nothing special or anything like that. I think I just was very grateful to my husband because at the time whenever they are work, I right. in their work and I carry the strength of everything. I'm just decide to say, you know what? May I just make some steam fish so when him come home, yes, I play things and listen to me. It's when I'm done with the steam fish, Mr. All right, babes, I'm gonna give you a shower. What a turn on, what a turn on. <laughs> oh, look here, man. When I'm done eat the steam fish, you know, man, we eat it from the ground, we did have this brown like a rug, and we ate it on the floor <laughs> with some champagne. And Mr. All right, babes, when we awesome. don't know, I'm gonna shower you. We put him That's in the right. shower and I bathed him yes, myself. My yes, my Let dear. So the yes, my dear. Clean him up. I'm cleaning him up. And when I'm mm -hmm. done, I'm going to the room. I'm changing off and I want a theme shirt. Then, yes, and of I course, I did. Some music. I'm sitting down in the chair and I danced for him. Yes, my dear. Get some I pole dancing. Danced to, for him. Get some, get some pole dancing going on. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. <laughs> Practice that's right. some lap dances Lord, with some your husband. That's it. That's right. Strip tease and them yeah, some the hell up. Hell up. Hello. It that's is it. not wrong, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yes, right. so God want with to enjoy of each course. other. Of course. Take that your t-shirt, put it on the breast part. Take oh, come on, the man. Part and, and if I join the part, and do some something. And do some nice. Where I say. <laughs> Kelly says, that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Imagine right. if our husbands <laughs> love their wives into completely loving yep. themselves. Oh, you mean? How yep. amazingly rewarding could that be? Did it make you love him more deeply? Of course. Of course. The way he made me feel, listen to me. Yes. Just by that, how he made me feel, I felt like I wanted to reward him with that dance. That's right. I and listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. I danced to "Dance for You" by Beyonce. Yeah, hey, girl said, "I just want to show you how much I appreciate That's you. Right. Show you how much." I'm dedicated to you. That's right. Show you how much I will forever be true. Show you how much you've got your girl feeling good. That's Show right. you how much it's understood. Show you how much I value what you say. Not only are you loyal, you're patient with me, babe. Show you how much I really care about your heart. Show you how much I hate being apart. Show you until you're through with me. That's right. Listen to me. Thanks for watching. Please join us next time for the continuation of this episode. Stay tuned. Underneath it all, who are we sexually? Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos with Giselle St. James. For mature audiences only. Watch Bible, Cufflinks, and Stilettos on Carib Vision, midnight on Mondays, and Friday nights at 11 p.m. Sponsored by Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries.